capacitor is a passive electronic component or device capable of storing charge with a certain voltage level across two conducting plates or surfaces separated by an insulating material or dielectric substance. Capacitor is constructed by using two conducting surfaces or plates and an insulating material that is dielectric like mica, paper, air, etc. between these two surfaces. As a capacitor is a passive component, it does not generate energy, but it is able to store energy from an energy source like a battery or another charge capacitor. When a battery or a DC source is connected across a capacitor, one surface named plate 1 gets positive end of the battery and another surface named plate 2 gets the negative end of the battery. When switches on, the full voltage of that battery is applied across that capacitor. At that situation, plate 1 is in positive potency with respect to the plate 2. Current from the battery tries to flow through this capacitor from its positive plate or plate 1 to negative plate or plate 2 but cannot flow at max value due to separation of these plates with an insulating material. Rather, a very small current will flow through this insulating material or dielectric from positive to negative plate depending upon the value of strength of this dielectric. An electric field will form inside the capacitor dielectric from positive to negative plate. As time goes on, positive plate or plate 1 will accumulate positive charge from the battery and negative plate or plate 2 will accumulate negative charge from the negative end of the battery. After a certain time, the capacitor holds maximum amount of charge as per its capacitance with respect to this voltage. This time span is called charging time of this capacitor. Now, after removing this battery from this capacitor, these two plates will hold positive and negative charges with respect to a certain voltage level for a long time. Thus, this capacitor acts as energy source. If two ends or plate 1 and plate 2 get shorted through a load, a current will flow through this load from plate 1 to plate 2 up to all charges get vanished from both plates. This time span is known as discharging time of the capacitor. Suppose a capacitor is connected across a battery through a switch. When switch is on, that is T is equal to 0 plus, a certain value of current will flow through this capacitor. After a certain time, or that is charging time, capacitor never allows current to flow through it further. It is because of maximum number of charges are accumulated on both surfaces and capacitor acts as a battery which has positive end connected to the positive end of the battery and negative end connected to the negative end of the battery with same potency. Due to zero potential difference between battery and capacitor, no current will flow through it. So, it can be said that initially a capacitor is short-circuited and finally open-circuited when it gets connected across a battery. Suppose a capacitor is connected across an AC source. Consider at a certain moment of positive half of this alternating voltage, plate 1 gets positive polarity and plate 2 negative polarity. Just at that moment, plate 1 accumulates positive charges and plate 2 accumulates negative charges. But at the negative half of this applied AC voltage, plate 1 gets negative charges and plate 2 positive charges and so on. There is no flow of electrons between these two plates as they change their polarity with the change of source polarity. The capacitor plates get charged and discharged alternatively by the AC.